Good morning. Bonjour. Good morning guys, Lucas here. Uh, welcome to our day three. Uh, we had a really nice night. It was very calm, very very spontaneous night. This is the place where we en ended up being because of the rain. We just stopped the first place we could. We still haven't re reached the uh, Vermont, which is about maybe four, four or five kilometers away. We will get there and we will actually pass it. So we'll just keep cycling until 8.30 till all the grocery stores open, you know, get some food, get some water because that's all the water that we have left and it's gonna be less very soon. So as I said, we're finishing up packing, almost everything is set, many wet clothes, but that's all right. Uh, two more days to Paris, about 250 kilometers. But you know what's interesting about this place? I think this is Bitcoin mining uh, no, factory or whatever you call it. Because it looks pretty abandoned. But if you listen, and you might also be able to hear. Right? <laughs> We are at a very expensive place, I would say. Maybe not at this certain time, but in the future, for sure. By Bitcoin. Yeah. Okay. Hello everyone, here we are with my big brother Rokas, also known as The Rock, also known as La Roca. <laughs> so, uh, we cycled, like, what time is it now? Time to add some water. <laughs> uh, approximately nine. Uh, AM, uh, we already cycled about like 12 kilometers. We basically we just went to Lidl to get some breakfast and food uh, for the rest of the day. Also water because we ran out of the water. So now Rockers is making uh, porridge, oatmeal. So we are going to which city, Rockers? You said. <laughs> Bator. To Bator. So we're gonna reach France. Last year. Uh, when we were cycling, we, re we reached France also in, in three days, right? Yes, yeah, something like that. One night in the Netherlands, one night in uh, Belgium, and third night in France. Yeah, so, so far everything is going well. We had no issues with basically any wild camping experience. I mean, not that wild, but uh, still wild. Uh, still camping. And uh, and uh, we also cycling is going good. We had some issues in the beginning, if you remember the rocket's uh, wheel, but now also no problems. So, rocket, what would you like to add? It's time to eat. I don't have anything to add. Let's eat. Let's eat. <laughs> So as you know, my phone got wet and now it's not working. So I tried to put it, we had some rice. So put in the rice and then this is what happens. You got the rice. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> okay, so my phone is not turning on and uh, not even showing like any signs. Not even that the battery is low. We will add more rice.
Waste of rice. Waste of phone. Okay, the phone got new cover. And we go back. It's a nice road. Very, very flat. It's all good, you know? Exactly. Let's go. Welcome to France. France. Hola. Bonjour. 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 Ça va? Paris. Paris. <laughs> So we got lost, like 20 kilometers now. Not lost, but like we went the wrong way and then we didn't want to come back. That means we cycled more, we cycled around and like we know which roads we have to take to get to where we want to get. But it's funny because a few signs are just like this. One, another. And you can just guess. But if you look from a certain angle, like from here, I don't know if the camera is picking it up. You can see it's D83. That way and then first right. I know. Yeah? D83 and then D951. Easy. That's France. And that's where we... Trilon. That's where we're going for the moment. Time for some washing. So we are at 242 kilometers now, and uh, we, we second time we tried to clean our bikes at those self uh, car wash spots. And uh, because we, I mean, it would be very, very nice to have it cleaned, right? All right, guys, so we cycled about approximately 42 kilometers so far. It's 1 p.m. right now, so we are at a good pace. We were a tiny bit off the route because we chose the the road, which is not for cars, but like you know, like, like more like it was like village roads, and it wasn't very pleasant, and it was also in the wrong direction. So we just went all the way around, but we are good. We are back to where we had to be, so the city of Trelon, uh, which is on the way to where we are heading to. We always want to get the bikes washed, but the thing is, uh, we don't have any coins, and this is the first place we found. We can pay by card, but you have to pay at least five euros and they don't take cards. <laughs> the good thing is that it's, it's very nice weather today. It's, it's gonna rain approximately at 4 p.m., but that's fine. We are ready for that. We have the rain jacket this time and uh, it's, a, it's a nice spot. We are very hungry and 
actually a little bit tired it's warm and so you kind of feel sleepy after cycling much but we're going through it we got some energy drinks in the morning not very healthy but helps to get through it those are the clothes that we that got wet yesterday the good thing is that when you are cycling the wind and yeah the warm weather just just dries the, the clothes super fast so even though the shoes get wet you can also dry them quite fast only that the smell stays that's an issue uh, but we are gonna be in Paris very soon uh, so we can we will take advantage of Airbnb and we're gonna find a room which has a washing machine and a dryer so that we can clean everything and then enjoy the Paris talking about Paris today we are at a really good pace if we can keep it up we will get to Paris in two days so today and tomorrow that means we cycle about 130 kilometers a day which is a lot but we might be able to do it uh, without pushing ourselves too much it's just you know long steady ride and that's like one of those rules in the bike pack you don't want to push you want to go long and steadily so basically like slowly but for a long period of time marathon, marathon. so that's what we are doing we're enjoying it we're very lucky with the, with the weather even though it rains sometimes like you saw in the, in the previous videos but it's all right we're ready for everything we're very uh, excited to be back in France and uh, we're ready to get there that one famous place Mont Saint Michel bought some hummus for the dinner You know what this jacket means? This! Yes, this! Sometimes oh. maybe good, sometimes maybe cheap! Hi guys, so we cycled... <laughs> so we cycled approximately 70 kilometers today. We have survived another rainstorm. Now a uh, quick uh, late late lunch snack. Ice cream. Ice cream. Oh yeah, ice cream. Yeah, our friend Chris is uh, cycling now in Russia, 10,000 kilometers. He's doing 10,000 kilometers in the time that we do le under 2,000 kilometers. So but that's probably because doesn't really rush me at this moment. <laughs> so where we're we going? To Paris, but um, we have around uh, I think uh, 100, 150 kilometers left to Paris, 140. And we want to do as much as possible today. And the road, as you can see, it's been like that for the past 
20 kilometers and it's gonna be for the past 100 maybe <laughs> hopefully so I want to take this opportunity and cycle as much as we can today then sleep for three hours and uh, go to Paris to Airbnb yeah, and because we want to cycle as much as possible and I took very which is actually very heavy but also very strong LED light uh, so we can use that one and just uh, travel on cycle on this road during the night as well not the whole night but just for a few hours which means that maybe it's easier for us to get the that airbnb and uh, yeah we can also you know until the burger get some dark beer get some uh, water vodka v v vodka okay let's go yeah this is one of the heaviest items that we have because it has a separate battery pack and a charger for this specific plug and this is the, the moment where we actually have an opportunity to use it so we don't regret taking it yeah, so I'm gonna put it somewhere around here Believe it or not, it's from AliExpress, but it's really good. I'm gonna show you. It. And uh, the battery for it. I'm gonna show you at night, but just a quick test. Very strong, very good. Let's roll. Okay, so we cycled how many kilometers? Like, I don't know, 20? Like 20 kilometers. And uh, we had a nice plan, 30 kilometers more, everything nice, by the canal, and uh, something unexpected happened. Right here. Chanteur interdit au public. Meaning something public. <laughs> I will take off my amazing flashlight so I can show you. Let's see. You ready? Boom! That's the road we had to take. But do you see it's it's gravel or is it not? It's a bad it it's a bad road. Bad road? Yeah. So what we gonna what we gonna do? Okay. Look, we can camp here. We should go. Yellow, yellow. Let's go. Okay, next door. Hi. All right, guys. I know you didn't expect to see me right here, right now. I also wasn't planning to record this. But the thing is that somehow I managed to lose the final episode of, of the video and the moment where I usually just summarize the day so I thought I would just record myself and just say that explain myself <laughs> and uh, say that hopefully it's not gonna happen again 
and uh, it's also a great opportunity to say thank you for watching all the way till the end i hope you're enjoying those videos and uh, i hope you're gonna enjoy the future ones there are many more days to come so please subscribe and uh, you'll be the first one to know when the next episode is coming and yeah i'll spoil the alert uh, i lost something again and we just realized uh, in the morning so you will see what happens and this might be the last thing I lost, who knows, but uh, yeah, it was important, but we didn't come back for that. So, that's about it, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one, goodbye.